Okay, so now what we've got here is we've got our yellow parallelogram, and um, what we realize is that we can actually use the exact same formula, area uh, equals uh, base times height, uh, when we are trying to uh, come up with our formula for calculating the area of a parallelogram. Uh, well, let's uh, take a look as to exactly why that is. Uh, for starters, we have a parallelogram here, but if we can imagine like slicing, like if we actually decided to go from right here and slice a chunk of this off, like, I don't know, maybe like this, and we were to, I don't know, maybe stick it on the side here like this, it becomes obvious here in a second that uh, we actually have a rectangle. And we can just uh, show you again, we can actually just move it back over and show you that this was what the parallelogram looked like. And then, of course, if we just cut it off, boom, move it over, we can actually fit it right back into here, and we have ourselves a rectangle. That is why this formula will also work for a parallelogram. Let's take a look at an example. All right, let's take a look at a typical problem. So let's say, for example, we have the distance from right here to right here. And uh, what we're going to say is that this is, oh, I don't know, eight meters long. Uh, that is from this point right here all the way to this point right here. So we're going to say that's eight meters long. Okay, um, but then what we have to do is we have to uh, determine our height. So this will be our, our base. So if we know that area equals base times height, so far what we've got is we have got our base of eight, but we haven't yet got our height. So what we need to do is we need to go right at this point right here, and we need to draw in a perfect right angle because we know that when we cut that off, we are going to be left with a right angle, and we need to come up, uh, we need to have that height. So if you were given this a problem and, and it was showing that this was in fact uh, six meters, uh, what that means is, is that if we were to take this and move it over to here, well, now we have a pretty simple problem to, uh, to figure out when it comes to area. It's just eight times six. So let's figure it out. Eight times eight times six. And we know that our area is in fact 48 meters squared. All right, let's see if we can figure out a problem here. So we've given a parallelogram and we're given our base, which is eight meters, but we haven't been given the height yet. Uh, but one of the things that we have been given is the area, and the area equals 48 meters squared. So the question is, how do we figure this out? Well, what we've known so far is that uh, to determine area is a multiplication question of base times height. So what we can say is, is that, well, you know what, let's go back and look at really basic multiplication. Let's do a simple one like 2 times 3. Well, we know that 2 times 3 equals 6, but we also know that division is the opposite of multiplication. So if I were to say 6 divided by 3, that would also equal 2. And so uh, what we can do is we, we can actually just flip this equation around in reverse to figure out uh, what the missing uh, height is here. I'll show you how to do that. So what we know so far is we know that the area... Uh, we know that base times height equals area. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, the opposite of that area divided by base has to equal our height. So we're just going to take 48, and we're going to divide it by 8, and that should give us our height, which is 6. So we can say that our height equals six meters. All right, one last one just for good measure. So we've got a parallelogram here that's showing an area of 42 centimeters squared. 
and we've been demonstrated, we've been given the height, which is seven centimeters. We just don't have the base yet. So just going back and working in reverse, we simply can say, well, area divided by, well, we know our uh, height, so we can say area divided by height is going to equal our base. So let's just plug in the numbers now. 42 divided by, uh, well, seven equals base, and we can say six equals our base, and we can say that our base is equal to six centimeters.